92Q. How many of y'all listen to 92Q? Some of y'all appreciate it. Chili, the chilies are pumped up. Any principals that are present, uh, we want you to the side of the stage by the tent. And right now, cheerleaders and everybody assembled here, welcome. And let's welcome our lovely mayor, Stephanie Rollins Blake, y'all. Right? City School Championship Pep Rally. Once again, everybody here, y'all make some noise, nice and loud, while Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Conan, thanks for the introduction. Thank you so much for being here. It is an honor for me to be here to celebrate City Schools Champions Day in Baltimore. I have to say that I'm very happy to be joined today by my colleagues in city government. City Council President Jack Young, let's give him a hand. Our comptroller, Joan Pratt. Councilwoman, Ricky Spector. Councilman, Nick Mosby. And he's not an elected official, but if, if it weren't for him, we wouldn't be making all this progress as we are in the schools. School CEO, Dr. Andreas Alonzo. Did I miss anybody? All right, let's keep it rolling. Thank you for joining us today to celebrate the achievements of our Baltimore Public School students. Today, we have teams from Western High School. Dunbar High School, <laughs> Lake Clifton High School. <laughs> I lost a little bit of my hearing after that. And Patterson High School. We are celebrating young people who work hard every day to prepare for some of the most intense competition around, and it takes teamwork and supportive adults to make that happen. I want to thank the coaches, the principals, the teachers, and the parents who created this environment for our students. Let's give a hand for all of the teachers, principals, <laughs> coaches, and parents. Again, I want to thank Dr. Alonzo, who has worked very hard to create new and improved uh, educational opportunities for all of our students. And I also want to say something. This week is Youth Violence Prevention Week. And on Monday, we announced uh, several events and activities taking place throughout the city. I believe that during tough times, it, it calls on all of us to strengthen our community bonds and build social capital. We have to work together uh, to increase citizen engagement. And I can tell you that, I, uh, that when my daughter uh, coaxes me and encourages me to get involved with things like uh, recycling and being more uh, sensitive to the environment, I, 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 I hear her, so I'm asking you to talk to your parents and your friends to talk to them about how to get more involved so we can um, make sure that uh, our, the, the numbers of uh, people that are either perpetrators or victims of youth violence continues to trend downward uh, in Baltimore City. Can, you, can I get you to do that for me? A little bit, a little tiny bit, thank you. All right. So you know, National Youth Violence Prevention, that's what it, that is what we strive to do uh, for National Youth uh, Violence Week, providing young people with support and strengthening our communities. I know that we will be able to grow our city. Uh, we're sponsoring this week over 70 exciting activities, uh, and, and please take a look at the website, the city's website, so you can learn how to participate. Okay. Today is unique because we're not celebrating only athletic excellence, but also creativity and ingenuity of young engineers. And in every case, our young people went head to head against the best competition in the state and won. It's a tribute to hard work, perseverance, 
and a tremendous, and, and each of you on every team is a tremendous example to young people who are coming up behind you, and I hope that you take that very seriously. In a moment, I will invite each team up on the stage to present them with proclamation. But before, before I do, I want to again uh, thank the many people who have supported our young people. Uh, let's give them another round of applause. Before I, before I turn it over to, um, to, before I start inviting the teams up to the stage, I do want to ask if my, the, the council president would like to say any, a, a few words. Thank you, uh, Madam Mayor. Good morning, everyone. I'm so proud of all of you. Um, some of the games I came to, I watched how hard you played. I want to thank the coaches for all that they have done to uh, prepare you. What does that say about Baltimore? We have the best teams in the state. Now, don't we give yourself a hand. When you have Patterson, Dunbar, Weston, and um, Lake Clifton, I know, don't do that. <laughs> Lake Clifton, you know, y'all play some of the toughest schedules in this whole state. And then you go out and supposedly paint, uh, play in the guys who are supposed to be the toughest in their area. And look what happened. Out three tough teams, I'm talking about the boys right now, our three tough teams come out and win Baltimore City and state championships. What that say about us in Baltimore? We have the best talent anywhere. And then our girls team go out there and just, <laughs> just rock, you know. And I'm so proud of y'all. I, I, I really, I'm speechless uh, because you guys have gone and represent Baltimore very well. And the Western team did the same thing. We're so happy for all of you, and we want you to continue to be the scholar athletes that you are and go on to the colleges and make us proud in Baltimore and then come back to Baltimore. Don't leave. Come back to Baltimore and let's help grow the rest of our youth so that they can be on a positive path to go to college and do the wonderful things that our kids do. So, again, thank you and congratulations on a great championship victory. Thank you. All right, before we take the photos, I also want us to hear from our school CEO, Dr. Andrea Salonzo. Good morning. So I'm getting used to this a little bit. Like every single year, one of our teams wins something big. So congratulations for another fantastic year. I think a little bit more this year with four different teams from three different schools. This is, this is tremendous. Uh, I want to thank the, the, the coaches, the parents, the volunteers who make it possible for you guys to succeed. But, uh, you know, thank you for the hard work. Uh, uh, use it for academics as well. This was a very funny week because we were doing a letter about the sports accomplishments. And then all of a sudden, people started writing about, wait a second, we just won the robotics. And over, there you go. And then over the weekend, we won the chess championship state levels in three different divisions. And then I get another letter that says, but wait a second, why didn't you put in this letter that we also won the debate championships over the weekend? So there's, a, there's another letter coming about all the other teams that we left out of the letter that we sent out. But you guys are the, the, the torchbearers. Congratulations, it's, it's, you're, you're obviously working unbelievably hard. You deserve all the success, and uh, this is just tremendous. We have four of our principals here, and uh, are you going to introduce them later, Madam Mayor? The principals of the, of the yeah. So, so I just want to call them out now so that you know who they are. Uh, from Western, Miss Trusty. <laughs> from Patterson, Mr. Van. From Heritage, Ms. Farmer. And from Dunbar, Ms. Kyles. So, uh, they're all doing an amazing job, and I want to congratulate them for the success of their teams. Thank you. I mean, couldn't happen without you. Thank you very much. Thank you. All righty. Now, now for the good part. I think we have some, some music that we're going to get started while we introduce the teams. The champ is here. The champ All right. Is here. The champ is here. The champ is All here. All right. So, for the third year in a row, Class 1A champion, Dunbar Blood Basketball. Two A state champions, Lake Clifton Boys. 
Max winning its first state championship, Patterson Boys Basketball. And on their way to California to compete in the BEX Robotics World Champions Western High School's Robo Dubs. I want to have come up and um, give some remarks from uh, one of the seniors from Dunbar High School, Sierra Johnson. Y'all give her a round of applause. Good morning, everyone. My name is Sierra Johnson, one of the captains for the 1A state champions, Dunbar Lady Port. On behalf of all of the state champions here today, I would like to thank Mayor Rawlins Blake for recognizing our hard work, dedication, and determination. We also would like to thank our coaches for putting in the time and hard work that allowed us to become state champions. On Saturday, March the 10th, 2012, we proved to Maryland, to Maryland that Baltimore City is on the rise. Um, the captain of the Western High Robo Doves, Amber Matthews, give her a round of applause. Hello, my name is Amber Matthew. I'm the captain of the Robo Doves. First, we would like to thank Mayor Rawlings Blake for inviting us here today. We are grateful to be recognized along with the top athletes from Baltimore City. Also, thank you, Mayor Rawlings Blake, for supporting us two weeks ago at the Chesapeake Regional. It was motivating and inspirational to have you there. I want to thank my teammates, our coaches, Ms. Heather Romney, Mr. Gino Tagete, our principal, Ms. Alicia Trusty, and my mom, Ms. Deidre Matthew, and all of our team, parents, students at Western High School, and our amazingly dedicated mentor, Mr. Ron Karpinski, who has been with us since 2008. The RoboDoves have had a great year and are honored to represent Baltimore at the VEX World Championship in Anaheim, California in April. All right, and one last speaker, Trayvon Barnett from Patterson. Y'all give him a round of applause. Hello, everybody. My name is Trayvon Barnett, and I'm a senior forward at Patterson High School. Um, on behalf of Patterson High School, I would like to thank Mayor Rawlins Blake for her gracious invitation to City Hall. It's an honor to be rewarded for our hard work and dedication, and to be able to represent the city of Baltimore. From when we first started practice on November 15th, we have grown as a team and through our travels playing around the country and city. We have always strived to represent our school and our city to the best of our abilities. To have the opportunity to finish our season in the Comcast Center as state champion is a moment we will never forget. On behalf of Patterson, I also congratulate Dunbar, Lake Clifton, and Western on their accomplishments. Throughout the season, we've adhered the motto, hard work and dedication pays off. Standing here today, we know it is true. Thank you. All right, for all our city championship schools, it's your pep rally. Y'all make some noise for our man, Stephanie Rollins Blake. The Dunbar Lady Poets would like to give Miss Rollins and Jack Young some shirts from us to show our appreciation. Alrighty, I want to thank all of the schools for coming out today and let you know 
that I have proclaimed today, March 21st, 2012, as City Schools Championship Pep Rally Day and encourage everyone in the city to celebrate along with you. Thank you so much. Congratulations. And thank you for representing Baltimore so well.